I'm glad to say that some of the questions I get asked now would be, how long do I have to take medication for? Because most people think of cancer treatment as something I'm going to take for a certain period of time, and then I get to stop because I'm in remission, and I'm, or maybe I'm cured, or even a, if they just call it a functional cure. We're getting to that point, we think, in CML. Um, on, one, on a good note, I think the medicines could be taken for a long period of time safely. We've done studies looking at late side effects and, and late risks, and it doesn't seem to be a major issue, but um, many people want to know how long. And it's a little hard because we have to individualize the journey. Everyone's going to respond at somewhat different rates. We're aiming to get people into deep remissions that we know are protective, watch them for a period of time. And then again, it's not standard, but research is now pointing us into the ability to maybe think about treatment for your remission, where you could stop your medication, be observed very carefully, and not fall out of remission. But that is not something to do on your own or uh, to take, be taken lightly. It needs to be uh, done you know, currently in the setting of a clinical trial. Um, other questions are more about um, getting back into life and work and what does it mean to take, is it chemotherapy? Sometimes even is it a cancer because it, I mean, it has a, the name leukemia, but uh, it's hard for many people because they don't have the outward appearance or even on treatment um, so much, um, they don't wear it on their sleeve that they have cancer and they're on, on treatment. So it's important to be open as much as you can and perhaps um, figure out a way to, to uh, let people know what you need, um, both at home, at work, um, in the office, uh, because it's not easy. It's not easy having CML. It's not easy taking medications every day. It's not easy taking medications every day for years.